Floyd's Mayhem Garage today, I dissect the General Mayhem 440. Okay, in the middle of working on the General Mayhem, getting the motor together for it, getting the Daytona apart, I wanted to do a kind of disassembly motor or disassembly video of this engine anyways, but since I need all the parts for this motor, one of them being the oil pan as well, um, I had to get it taken apart and stripped down anyways. And since I had it flipped over with the oil pan off, I couldn't help myself. So I guess this is kind of, I'll probably end up making this two videos, I think. So some of this may end up in the video of the General Mayhem. And I think this is gonna be a standalone engine or standalone video by itself as well. But let's take a look here. So because I got the uh, General Mayhem project going, um, I've been tearing this apart already. And lo and behold, I found the issue. So um, got the main cap off. Turns out if we can take a look at these bearings here, they are trashed. <laughs> um, it ended up spinning a rod bearing. So this, is it? Yeah, this end normally has these little teeth we can see that which locks into the cap and the crank or I'm sorry the connecting rod um, and the cap to help center it and keep it from spinning those are long gone they're non-existent so you can see all of the chunks and pieces as it was in there bouncing around chunks of you know metal got in there and it started eating it apart but even more so, it's amazing. Let's see, let me see if I can get, oh yeah, if you can see the profile on that, just how much material it's moved and or has hammered away or ground away or just all of the above. Um, this one's not as bad, but you can see all the, the heat uh, scarring on it. So sure enough, um, when I got this motor, I bought it from a friend uh, sight on scene, he drove it over and delivered it to me. <laughs> uh, he got it with a car that he purchased. So he didn't know anything about it. I didn't know anything about it, but visually looking at it, it looked nice. But the block was not painted, but the heads had fresh paint on them. So that led me to believe that it was a old block with a fresh set of heads on it. But it looks like, you know, based on this, um, I don't know if these are original or if somebody's actually been in here because I'm not seeing any stampings to number the rods or anything like that to actually put this back together or assemble it properly. But assuming that they, if this was a part, they got it together too tight, maybe they didn't mark anything anyways. So don't know at this point, but that's definitely what let go. So the crank doesn't look too bad. I've definitely seen worse, but it's cast crank. It's not worth much. So, honestly, I think what's going to happen with this motor, uh, I'll end up saving the block. Pretty much the crank's going to get junked. I'll keep all the external stuff. I think these heads are going to make their way onto another engine. And I th think, yeah, that's probably the life of this motor now. And just when I thought I was done, just looking over some things after trying to get all this filmed here, Got the one out and started looking at the other one here. And sure enough, I don't know if you can see this in there. There's a chunk hanging out. And sure enough, this has a ton of movement in it. So, and it looks like that one's spun as well. Which is no surprise, being next to this one. This one's getting hammered and chunks are moving out. You know, it's mushrooming the edge over. I'm sure it affected this one, which is what it looks like. So, in fact, it looks like I can even see that bearing coming out. So let me get this cap off and we'll take a look at this one as well. So I think it's just as bad as that one. <laughs> and I thought this was the bad one. Wrongo. I think this one's worse. <laughs> Holy crap. There's literally nothing left of that. Okay. So I'm backwards. You know, I thought this one going out is what destroyed this one. No, no, no. This one going out is what destroyed that one. Holy cow. This is trashed. That is literally, oh man, it's overlapped on itself. 
That's a definite issue. Let's see. Pull this up and off. Maybe. Nice and oil covered. Okay, this appears to make more than 180 degrees around this. It's almost like it's actually wrapped around it. Holy cow. Um, yeah. Let's see. Get two hands in there, maybe. Nope. Sure enough. Yeah, you can see it on the back side there. It's so mushroomed out or squished out, it makes it comes more than halfway around. So it's actually holding on to the crank now. And then whatever this chunk's left over. Is this one doing the same thing? This one might be doing the same thing. Oh man, there's pieces and chunks. All right. Well, let me set you down, pull this out, and we'll take a closer look. All right, got the bearing material off. Um, I didn't pull it apart or do anything with it. I just pulled it off and set it to the side here because take a look at this. This is several layers stacked up on itself because it's spinning and hammering over itself. Yeah, like that guy. You can see the overlap. So let me see if I can kind of pull this apart here or if this is fused all into one piece now. Uh, nope, this is all going to be one piece now. Not supposed to be, but it is. Yeah, check, take a look at those, this end. Absolutely hammered. Literally hammered. Oh, that one sort of wants to come apart. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, definitely bad. <laughs> All right. I think that's the end of this video. Uh, I may see you again. I may not. I'll let you know. But if not, like and subscribe. And as always, take it easy.